Pinholes are a big menace in metalizing. A uh, metalized film with a lot of pinholes will be classified as badly metalized film. This is more so in critical areas like yarn grid metalizing where a pinhole can cause a breakage in the thread or food grid packaging where barrier properties are extremely important. So my friends, the production engineers in metalizing are always trying to control these pinholes. They asked me, and Shuman, you have got so much of experience in the line of metalizing, why don't you speak on the subject? So here I am. I'll discuss in this video five major reasons that cause pinholes and how to eliminate them, most important. About me first. I am Anshman Punch. I am a mechanical engineer. I am founder CEO of Superbike Industries LLP, which is a company supplying vacuum consumables all over the world. I am also a technical blogger, a published author, and an inventor. I have got patents in my name. So let's go on, go on with the subject. Pinholes. As we understand, vacuum metalizing constitutes of deposition, deposition of a thin metal uh, layer on top of a substrate. So the areas where this metal doesn't deposit on the substrate are called pin holes or pin windows. As we discussed, it's a big problem in metalizing. So the reasons to uh, that cause pin holes, because unless we understand the reasons that cause pin holes, we'll never be able to eliminate them. First and foremost is dust particles. Yes, dust particles. As you can see over here on the substrate, there is a dust particle sitting. So when metalizing takes place, the, the metal gets deposited on top of the dust particle. This dust particle sometime later will get dislodged and will leave a pinhole of this shape. So now when we examine the film carefully, we see some kind of a crater and very thin metalized area which was in the shadow of the dust particle. This gives away that this has been caused by dust. If pinholes are being caused by dust, it's relatively easy to tackle. Always store the films in custom made wooden pallets vertically so that dust can be minimized. Of course, they should be uh, always stored in dust-free environment and, uh, uh, so that this problem gets reduced because of the dust. Second reason for uh, uh, pinholes is spitting by the uh, evaporation boards. So if when this, uh, I mean, how to first identify? So this identification is once again very simple. If you will look at uh, area around the pinhole, there will be heat damage. This gives away that it has been caused by the spitting of the evaporation boards. Use a good quality evaporation board that heats uniformly like the one we manufactured at Superbike. And aluminium wire, feeding of the aluminium wire also plays a big part in spitting. The aluminium wire has to be fed properly as per the procedure and at correct speeds at, and, and at correct speed. Too fast or too slow and you have a problem of spitting. Another reason that causes spin pin holes is a mechanical reason. That is too much of the winding tension. This kind of pinholes are very easily identified because they are elongated in the direction of the winding of the film. This is a mechanical problem. The film has been stretched too much which has caused this pinhole to come. So solving this is easy again. You just have to adjust the winding tension. We are winding it at too high a tension. Another reason of pinholes is some kind of a solvent or a masking oil on the substrate. This solvent or masking oil will not let the metalizing the metalized uh, the metal to stick over here, and we will have a pick off and a pinhole. This can be very easily identified because it has very clean, straight surface. So, if solvent is causing the problem, we can uh, sort this out by storing the film in a place where there are no or less solvent fumes. If masking oil has been applied for some reason, that masking oil must be clean before metalizing begins. If the film is dirty, we may have to go for cleaning of the film. Another thing that causes pinholes is the aluminum wire. Aluminum wire that has been oxidized excessively on the surface will cause pinholes because the substrate will receive vapors of aluminum and aluminum oxide and aluminum oxide will not deposit in the such cases. These are identified by a uniform pattern of pinholes. This gives away that this has been caused by aluminum wire. So as far as possible, we must use fresh aluminum wire, preferably the one that has been cleaned ultrasonically. So this problem will be solved by this. Now you will ask me, yes, we got all these things and they were rather easy and we will be able to solve, but how do we examine this film? So examining the film and uh, uh, some, the question also comes to mind is, do we need a specific instrument or some kind of uh, a machine for this? The answer is no. The machine, uh, this, Film can very easily be uh, examined by placing it on top of a flat surface. A very strong source of light should be placed under the surface. 
preferably with a diffuser so that the light is uniformly spread. By examining it at such a surface, you will very easily be able to identify the reason that was causing the pain. And once we understand the reason, it becomes easy to eliminate it. I hope this solves your problems. Thank you so much for watching this video. In case you would like to know more or would like to get in touch with me, please write to me at askanshuman at gmail.com. Thank you so much.